Hey, hello everyone. In this video, I'll quickly discuss some uh, chart setups and uh, only for the educational purpose. So let's see uh, uh, how sectors are doing and which are the interesting sectors for short term. So there's a lot to uh, talk about this, but how I uh, first of all quickly look at this uh, for short term or medium term is I, I try to analyze the spike spike in the score. So here just to uh, uh, figure out three or four uh, sectors, I think IT is very interesting. Infrastructure is looking uh, interesting. There's also a, a medium term perspective and chart analysis behind this, but uh, this is quickly how uh, they are performing in short term. Uh, also auto are looking good and uh, uh, there's some interesting setups in uh, banking and financial space as well. So we've added one interesting scanner here. This is top down approach uh, uh, in banks and in that also private banks uh, were looking a bit interesting. So we'll see in private bank. So we have selected a group private bank. Denominator one is broader market index, which is Nifty. And denominator two is uh, Nifty private bank. So here we are uh, doing a, pr a price analysis uh, and also relative strength analysis versus broader market index and a sector index as well. Now, if I quickly uh, sort this, so IDFC first uh, bank, th th that, that's looking good. Uh, even if I quickly see in bank index, that stock is looking interesting. Now, if I see a, a, a chart of IDFC bank, then it is, it is kind of looking interesting. See, this is a strong trend and then a correction. This is a pattern retest. And now there is a follow through which has opened multiple counts, right? So uh, there's a possibility of 59 or 63 if this bottom of 54 remains protected. Let's uh, look at a uh, Renko chart for lower time frame. Now see this, uh, this was a strong rally. And then after that, there is a series of alternative breaks. This is like a, a multi break zigzag pattern. And there, there's a strong support here, which is somewhere around uh, 56 or 55. So that's a very interesting area. If this remains protected, then we might see a surge in the short term as well. The idea here is how do we pick the stock? And then how do we plan the trade? You know, we can go to the uh, lower time frame for momentum trading and short term trading, or we can simply, we, and, and we would like to uh, identify stocks which are winners in the sector, which are doing good uh, uh, for trading and for investment. I mean, we would like to uh, trade stocks which are strong, basically, right? Another sector was infrastructure. So quickly we'll see in, uh, infrastructure index and now denominator would be nifty infrastructure so now here yeah gale is also looking uh, interesting uh, versus nifty uh, but uh, if i uh, quickly see this uh, if i see there are cement stocks and uh, and power stocks here so the cement is also uh, looking good because overall cement space is uh, kind of interesting uh, so we'll come to there but ambuja cement is what we'll analyze so uh, when we look at the group this way we can also go through the list of stocks but you can have a look at cements here now see uh, i just wanted to share one observation see this was a strong uptrend right after the strong uptrend when price falls below the moving average you know usually what happens is we can call this a kind of shakeout uh, a first sell signal in bull market is uh, uh, always kind of, you know, it's not very a strong signal. And same way, first buy signal in bear market is a kind of a shakeout pattern. It's not very strong. Now, after this kind of uh, a correction, uh, there was a strong uh, retracement from the bottom, right? This is a, almost 100% uh, retracement of previous swing and followed by a triple top buy. And then there is a correction. Now it has turned up again. So we get a very uh, uh, affordable risk reward opportunity here. If price maintains uh, uh, somewhere around 1830, then we can pro perhaps uh, uh, see higher levels. And these are the counts which are open. <clears throat> and stock is totally in strong uptrend. 
Bajaj Auto and Madhusume are looking interesting. This is an interesting chart. This is relative strength. This is interesting. There are signs of outperformance in the short term. And if you look at the price chart as well, this above this, it would be very interesting, which is somewhere uh, around 224. See, this is higher bottom every time uh, a rising 45 degree trend line. There was a strong momentum and consolidation uh, seems to be completing. This is a major trend line. If we uh, see price above this, then there is a possibility of higher levels. Of course, so the short term price should maintain uh, uh, 210, 15 levels. Let's see IT. So emphasis, Wipro, Mindtree, all these charts are uh, looking very good and uh, they are in a, a new zone. The pro we have discussed in a previous video as well. If you see the chart, I mean, it is totally, uh, this is a long-term chart and there is a strong breakout after perhaps uh, uh, 15, 20 years and uh, we might see much higher levels. So here, when we see the column of O or short-term correction, then there are opportunities, then there is an opportunity to participate even lower time frame correction let's have a uh, look at one more scanner let's go to uh, uh, point and figure we'll see uh, in fendo space which stocks have triggered turtle breakout pull, uh, follow through pattern bullish turtle follow through pattern today so these are the stocks i think uh, mother samsung bajaj auto we have seen uh, uh, Nalco is very bullish in uh, uh, metal. Overall, metal space is uh, bullish, but it is already, uh, but it is already in momentum. MFSL is uh, interesting. There's a bullish breakout here, a, a strong uh, uptrend, and uh, this is like a pattern retest, multiple bottoms here, and after this, there is one strong anchor column which is which is engulfing previous consolidation and there is a follow through as well and this is also a turtle breakout follow through so uh, the stock is looking interesting and higher counts are uh, open if a bottom of 890 remains protected i'll show one more uh, uh, very interesting uh, thing before uh, concluding if you go to a breath scanner and if you uh, uh, sort that by X percent, you'll see the fertilizer stocks are uh, doing good. I mean, 90, more than 90% stocks in this group are bullish. And uh, I have always seen that, you know, when a particular sector comes in the top list of these, uh, uh, this kind of scanner, the breadth, because the breadth chart will be bullish when more number of stocks are participating in the group, right? And we can perhaps quickly uh, see the fertilizer group also here. We don't have fertilizer uh, uh, index, so we can keep Nifty 500 as denominator too. And have a look, have a look at uh, stocks in this space as well. If we see cement stocks, Ambuja cement is a top performer. Now see this very interesting thing. A steady performer followed by a period of consolidation kind of a, a price correction as well in uh, 2020 and now a strong rally this is triple top buy and stock is at all-time high this is a medium term uh, price and you have a couple of dips in between which has opened bullish counts and uh, higher counts are active. And now in short term, there was a correction. Price took support. There are multiple O's here, also at previous peak. So this is kind of uh, polarity, bullish polarity. And now we have a follow through buy again. So we have open bullish counts in short term as well as medium term. There was also a correction, a price correction in the uh, stock, and it is also a outperformer of outperforming uh, uh, sector. So the idea is just to, uh, you know, discuss chart analysis 
and how we can identify stocks for short term and medium term. So we'll keep recording these kind of videos just to share uh, it for the educational purpose. Please keep market trend in mind while trading and investing and uh, respect risks and follow stop loss tightly. Stay care and stay safe.